Anything you'd like to say on your behalf, Ms. Ed? When a woman gives birth, she's closer to death than life. Her body opens up to reveal another life. It is one of the most beautiful and fulfilling parts of being a woman. A mother's job is to train and nurture her child into adulthood. It's her gift to humanity, the gift of life. Another name for mom is God. It is through our actions that they learn to love themselves and others. When a child is murdered, the usual suspect is a parent or step parents. It's called maternal filicide, and it's defined as a mother who, a child murdered by the mother, and it normally occurs for the following reasons. The mother thinks the child is better off dead to get revenge on the father. The mother can't care for her child, or the mother has been abused and neglected as a child. But you killed your daughter for the love of a bum named Brad. An unemployed, drug-taking, manipulative loser. Your beautiful daughter, Gabby, was a sacrifice you gave that bum Brad to fulfill his sick and demonic sense of love and control. You and that monster systematically destroyed this beautiful child's spirit, body, but never her soul. You allow him to put your child in a garbage bag when she wet herself to give her drugs. Your response was, Brad, be her ass. What crime could this precious child commit that would cause such severe punishment? None. You were more concerned about feeding Brad the bum than your own child. And he showed you a video of being tortured. After he showed you a video of you, him torturing your child in a garbage bag, you, your response was, do you want some McDonald's? You are never a mother to your child. You are a female breeder who neglected your child for the love of a bum named Brad. In the animal kingdom, Male lions only kill cubs that are related to that are not related to them. Then they impregnate the lioness with his offspring. This sick logic was practiced in the home of Brad the Bum. He, with your aid, killed your child and spared Zoe, which is another word for love. I disagree with the prosecutor. She never was at harm, not Zoe because they wanted to get rid of the problem, and that was Gabby. On New Year's Eve, you both sent out visual cards of Zoe, Brad, and you. Happy New Year! But the person that was missing was Gabby, because you knew that Gabby wasn't going to make it another year. There were no plans to have Gabby as a part of your new life, and you assisted this monster and, dr and the drowning of your beautiful, precious gift. Never in my 21 years on the bench have I seen, seen a child sustain the injuries inflicted upon her. Dental decay, burn injuries on her behind, vomit in her lungs, immersion burn resulting in her being placed in scalding hot water and traumatic alopecia. Her hair was pulled out from her scalp while she was alive. When the police came, the bathtub was empty and appeared to be dry. According to you, you said she puked. But what the police found is that her eyes were are open and they were hazy with milk and milky. She was cold to the touch. There was blood on her arms. She had several raw red burns on the back of her feet, arms and hands, with flesh hanging from her feet. Officer Cox also observed the child's hair to have blood in it, and the hair was only slightly damp with lumps on the back of her head. Your response was... Well, you know, she likes to be in a bathtub, so she ran a bathtub, and that's how she got scalded. 
when they asked about why your child didn't have toenails, your response and, and bruises on her, your response is because she sits in her own pits. You always have an excuse for somebody else's behavior, but not yours. What Mr. Cripps said about what occurred to you as a child is very damaging. But that didn't give you a right to be a predator. The ultimate cause of death was septic shock. Her little body couldn't take it any more abuse. But on New Year's Day, she was free. She died at the hands of a bum and an owl. The Sumter Township Police were quick to act, sorting out the lies that you told. Anything to protect yourself. And what did you do when the time your family needed you? You fled. You took 38 minutes to call 911. But you took enough time to clean out the bathtub. Your, your baby's uh, skin was found in a drain. You went to great lengths to hide it. It was due to their tireless efforts of putting together hundreds of hours of videos and text messages that you and Brad made that led to your capture and conviction. Carol Goldfarb, Karen Goldfarb, an attorney, Elsie, assembled all the evidence necessary for Gabby to tell her story. Her story was told and should be a warning to all the baby breeders that are out here silently torturing their children that in Wayne County, torture and child killings will be prosecuted to the fullest degree. It is fitting, as we embark on this holiday season, that you and Brad are where you both belong, behind bars like the animals that you are. This time the court is going to commit you to the Michigan Department of Corrections for no less than 30 years, no more than 60 years. The court will the people agree to dismiss counts one, four, five, and six. The court will give you 330 days credit for time served. You have 42 days to appeal my decisions at problem. No, I should have made a response. What? That her file be marked medical because she has some ongoing serious medical conditions so that the Department of Corrections can properly evaluate her once she arrives. The court will do that. And what about the uh, outstanding probation she's on? It's my understanding that that's set for a pretrial tomorrow. It will last if that be closed out in light of the sentence you're receiving today. Well, that's another judge's decision. The court's going to give you 30 to 60 years in the Mar Michigan Department of Corrections with the, uh, and mark the file medical. You have 330 days credit. But ma'am, there's nothing that I can humanly give you that will equalize or excuse what you did to your child. Take her back.